A report from the UN has laid bare huge regional disparities in maternal death rates. The problem touches every region in the world, but poorer countries and those affected by conflict are particularly vulnerable. In 2020, sub-Saharan Africa's maternal mortality rate was 136 times that of Australia and New Zealand, where MMR was lowest. South Sudan has the highest numbers, followed by Chad and Nigeria. Nine out of the ten following countries with the highest numbers are all in sub-Saharan Africa. I'm joined now by Miss Argentina Matavel, who's the director for West and Central Africa for the UN's Population Fund. Uh, thank you so much for speaking to us. Now, why are so many women dying of childbirth in sub-Saharan Africa? We are in a region that is beset by multi-layered uh, crises, which further weaken an already poor health system, in fact. And then there's the social norms, uh, social gender norms, which uh, determine that women and girls have uh, no agency over, over their bodies, over decision of when or if they want to have children. There's, uh, they they are not, have no access to family planning, for example, that would reduce the risk of them uh, dying, giving birth, since they wouldn't, uh, they would have more child spacing. But it's also, it's also the, the quality of care. It's proven, and UNFPA trains many midwives around the world, but we don't have enough skilled midwives to put at primary health care, where closer to the women, as opposed to having women uh, have to travel miles and miles to get to a hospital in a district level for quality care when an emergency hits. Considering the scale of the problem in sub-Saharan Africa, is this enough of a priority amongst policymakers, in your opinion? Well, we've seen many laws and, and, and policies passed, even uh, resolutions by the African Union and many countries passing those laws. The challenge is, is that there's really poor implementation of those laws and there is poor allocations of budgets. So we need a more deliberate wheel, uh, so per se, followed by uh, better allocations to uh, the, the issues of women's health. And it's, it's clear that unless we educate girls, we will continue following this cycle of poverty, of women not having agency over uh, whether they decide to have children or not, and when and how many. But it's also the, the, the humanitarian crisis. We have, for example, just in West Africa uh, and, and Central Africa, a total of seven or eight protracted humanitarian crises that have been going on for many, many years. And in those, in those areas, there's hardly any, any health facility with all the necessary uh, uh, services, including family planning for women who are on the run, who are uh, already in distress. Argentina so Matavel, thank you very much for giving us a bit of an insight in, into this problem. We wish you the very best with your work in trying to raise awareness and tackle the issue of maternal mortality rates in sub-Saharan Africa. Thank you for having us. Thank you.